This is Coltrans and Necrotics Gaming in partnership with Dubby Jitterless Energy Drink. The flavours are amazing. Use my discount code that will be in the description. And let's get on with the video now. We're going to be doing my Goat Titan Stasis build using the Horfrost Z. It's an absolute S tier exotic to use for a Titan. All my aspects are going to be on my previous video, so check that out for all the fragments and aspects. I didn't want to waste time with that again and keep repeating the same content. But this Hall Frosty, amazing. Really good to synergize with the Winter Bite. Really good to synergize as well with the um, Tessellation, because obviously it transforms into Stasis. And the Verglass Curve Bow. Throwing up ice crystals everywhere to make those ice lances and also get you ice crystals which top up your overshield and also when you're in a bind they will contribute to some health back right first thing about this build we'll start off with one of the most basic things the ice barricade obviously we're so used to popping up barricades to stand behind which is all well and good but this one has the added extra of being able to shatter as well and have a shoot window through it as well so you can cast it, shoot through the window, or you can just back the hell up from it and just blow it sky high. You blow that thing sky high, it will kill every ad in the vicinity of it, and it will give you ice crystals, and it will also give you ice lances as well. The thing with the ice lance is it's absolutely perfect, and you're going to be putting out so many ice lances with this build, there's going to be plenty for you and plenty for your fire team absolutely crucial for killing small groups of ads also very good for slowing down orange bars and applying a slight slow to champions as well and yellow bars this build absolutely tanks it with a glacier grenade because you are going to be putting up that much ice um, the shatter on it is on absolutely unbelievable Another thing with this build is if you are synergizing it by running at least two stasis weapons, I have found that damage is ramped. I'm estimating sometimes I'm getting a 90% damage increase, especially when I'm using things like Winter Bite, jumping back, casting off the heavy shot from the Winter Bite um, on a slowed enemy. It does a hell of a lot of damage. The um, Telesation is absolutely amazing as well it's high speed at shattering your barricades and your crystals i don't really have any footage of it in this but in my previous video you can see the telestation at work against ice crystals it's absolutely formidable as you can see here the barricade absolutely doing its job blow that i can get the revive because i've still got the all part of the barricade still up um, it's really good for uptime on your super. Super for this is absolutely fantastic. Um, love this build. So any one of you who loves Titan Stasis builds as much as I do are going to absolutely find this jaw dropping to use. It's passive. It's aggressive. It's defensive. It's everything. Depends how you want to play it. Um, your weapon loadouts. Um, you can also use Reed's Regret. That's a really good weapon to use if you're going for doing the, the two stasis weapon build options. And there's plenty of options now for running um, three stasis. It's another thing I like to do on not, not the serious end of content, but I like to run three stasis weapons sometimes just for the shits and giggles. And like I said, it's you see in that footage there, just gone and spawned three ice lances. Imagine you with the fire team, you're all running together, you're popping out ice lances left, right, and center. You've got an awesome Void Hunter with you. <laughs> got well. Um, you know, you can work really well with other classes with it. Whereas before, I found that when this first came out, it wasn't such a social build to use. I found that it would get in the way of things. Uh, I found it to be clunky, heavy, whereas now the Titan, as long as you're running a higher end mobility, I think I'm running 60 odd on this, but my discipline is at 100, so get his grenade back. Um, I like casting grenades out also when I'm in the super as well, when you're doing the slams, just to get that extra added shatter damage thrown in there, you can never have too much. This build is really good with champions as well. Like I said, you, you go in there, you get your slow with your ice lance, then you cast your 
your crystal which stuns them on the spot or keeps them on the spot and then you can go in with your your winter bite and rain down some real damage uh the fur glass very good running with this because obviously it's a stasis bow um hip fire that bow you get your four arrows and that can take a champion and the ads in the group and suspend the whole lot of them so that you have got time to breathe move or people in your fire team can take down that champion something else that i like to run with this build as well is i like running sometimes a strand assault rifle only reason being is with the artifact you can get the the weapon um that spawns the tangle which is something i like as well because also having one of those when you're flying about i'm running to stasis energy and a heavy and then i've got a strand auto on i just find that sometimes having a tangle you can jump out the way of things and you can shatter your crystals with that as well and get everything else that that gives you i hope you all appreciate this build give it a good look don't just give it two minutes look at the thing watch it the whole way through and you'll see there is no leap to this it is literally go out and slay work with your fire team members not against them be considerate how you use ice because a couple of times i've, I've blocked my fire team members in with ice and they've let me know about it all right we're going to enjoy this build uh give it a like give it a subscribe check out my other stasis titan builds i will be bringing you the icefall mantle build next which is another solid tank build um that's pretty much my heavy uh machine gun build i like that because you get your overshield you can't really jump or do anything else with it but it is a ad clearing tank that will be coming next but against this this is this is the ultimate for me for strand um not strand stasis sorry it is literally the ultimate and you can see in the footage everything that it does everything it puts out i do not lie it's all in here all right guys enjoy and know that when the gms come around i will be using this build and we'll be taking more questions like a few of you give me questions and i'll be throwing in a dim link so you can try it for yourself have a wonderful week wait for that next titan build and I will see you soon. That's Coltrane's out.